Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from mindfulmarketplace.com. And today I'm gonna continue to uh, show you in real time um, this brand new platform called Circle. Circle.so is the URL. And I've actually had this for about a week. So I, I started a free trial with Circle. Um, and I have six days left, which means about eight days of experience with this, uh, you know, forum software as a service building, uh, you know, community building platform. And I really like it. I mean, I think it's really... Uh, there was a lot of potential here for a wide variety of use cases, some of which I've just kind of serendipitously, um, you know, stumbled upon that I think would really benefit our brand, our business, and our publishing platform. So again, I'm going to show you this is a complete messy backend, non-public uh, platform yet in terms of our installation of this or our or our uh, circle uh, account so this is not a live you know uh, this is not a part of our platform that i'm publicly promoting i'm just showing this to you but this is how i've set up the back end of our uh community on circle and again once this goes live this won't be branded in any way to circle it'll be completely white labeled to us to our mindful marketplace community so when you keep hearing me refer to circle it's obviously just the software that's powering uh, you know our platform but ultimately our users will only see you know a community.mindfulmarketplace.com uh, url okay so here are some of the really uh, interesting things that I've discovered just playing around with this over the last couple couple days. Um, so what I'm trying to do, so you create spaces here. So this little plus button. So I have quotes we're pondering, uh, how to write a book that changes the world, connect, collect, connect, and convert, and serve at scale. These are three books that we're publishing uh, late August, early September to build our entrepreneurial business, the, you know, to reach more people in the mindfulness slash entrepreneurial uh, audience. So, you know, these will be corresponding with, uh, you know, these book launches and people who are reading those books and who are clients can come in and interact with the content in these various um, spaces this is how they refer to them as. So if you see, if I edit this space, and I can do all these, I can toggle all sorts of cool things here. So I can add members automatically. I can, um, you know, add moderators. So I can extend this beyond myself. So I have team partners and um, you know platform partners that we can actually set as moderators of various spaces or groups or channels within our platform, within our community. I have a whole section here that's going to be mindfulness training. So we have a whole bunch of guided meditations that uh, I have a partner who's written, and I've written some as well, and that I've recorded uh, audio recordings that will come with PDFs. So this will all be available in this section here. And then I'm going to be do doing some content curation here as well. So daily links and recommended resources will be here. And people, uh, you know, this is where we'll be curating relevant links on a daily basis that are, um, you know, interesting or appealing to a entrepreneurial slash mindfulness oriented audience. All right. So here's a bunch of little kind of experimental, um, you know, tags that I've created within our community. I think one of the real virtues of this sort of setup is that you can do these product reviews, right? So I've done a shit ton of reviews or, you know, tutorials, not really reviews on how to use Podia. We use Podia for our own platform. If you haven't, let's see if you go to partners, This is our teaching community on Podia. And essentially, I've not, I not only use them, right, but I'm also, um, you know, 
I'm, I'm a, I am an affiliate for Pody as well. I am speaking like a very slow human being today. I'm sorry for that. Um, so anyway, so Shopify, Podia, Teachable, you know, GoDaddy, all these different enterprise level affiliate relationships that you may have, right? You can do product reviews or tutorials for those platforms, right? And then add your link. So watch this. So if I wanted to say how to use Podia.com to build your online teaching platform. All right, so the first thing I could do is check out Podia here for a free trial. Okay, and then I could hold that, make it a link. So that's actually already my link, so I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna post the topic that didn't format properly, as you can see. Let's edit it again. I'm actually gonna leave that link. It's not a terrible idea, but I do want that to also be linked. I think I forgot to do this here. Right now I'm gonna save it. All right, so now you can see there's a link here and the free trials link, and I'm gonna pin this to the top. So every time somebody comes to this channel, or tag within this larger new member space. Now I would actually move this to offers or deals or product reviews or recommended partners. I would create a whole channel just for that. Um, and you know, and then I would include the Shopify's, the Podia's, the all the different tools that we use and recommend as affiliates. And there's a cool little twist here. So I could just keep, I could go, let's say, to YouTube search for Podia. Let's say Podia tutorials because I have some up. So I don't even need my own content. That's another thing that's here. Here's me, right? So I could just, here's me again. You don't even need your own links, you could, your own videos. I mean, you could use other videos, right? But in this case, I'm just gonna take mine. So I mean, there's nothing that says you can't take Podia's own tutorials and include them as in a curated way in your own community as, a, as an affiliate, but you don't have to do you can use your own stuff if you have your own stuff. It looks a little bit more branded for you. And this is a Podia walkthrough or doing X. I don't even know what that is, what that video covers, but there you go, right? So now when I go to Podia, the channel, I have a pin topic here, and then I have a video here. Right now, I could flesh this whole thing out so that I could go back and let's say Podia email marketing. I know I've done something on that. Here, that's me again. But I could also use theirs. Here's, here's me again. Here's me again. This is two years ago, and as you can see, this one actually has a fair amount of views, about 4,500, nine people clearly have bad taste, but 31 are winners, and that's important to know. All right. This is, a, yeah, this is obviously my own content, right? So I'm just gonna take this, and this would be The same thing, right? So now I'm adding this. Now you can also, you know, you could change the pictures. You, I mean, so you, I could upload a cover image here. I could change the author. I could change the space. I could change the metadata. 
I can do all these cool things, but I don't need to do those things here. So now all I'm really doing is building out this space in an educational way with a pin post at the top, right? So that's my affiliate link. And then I could just add all these videos teaching folks in my community how to use Podia. And then here, what I would really do is have an offer for my community that was, you know, sign up for Podia for a year uh, using this link and, you know, or our community link. And I'll be happy to get on the phone with you and, you know, chat about your, um, you know, your goals, your coaching, your courses, your products, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So because I'm going to be getting paid, you know, 33 percent, I think it is, of all of the users, uh, you know, all the signups that go through this link. I'm happy to be generous with my time and help folks, um, you know, give them some of my own. Uh, experience and expertise with using the Podia platform. And of course, you can just continue to do this with everything, right? So Shopify, right? And then you do the same thing. So and I have a Shopify affiliate link. You can see I use a tracking link, goodkarma.link is my URL, branded URL. All right, and I would post that, and I'd follow the same process. Again, I'd pin this to the top, and then I would, you know, start adding Shopify tutorials, right? I'm going to go back to YouTube. And again, I'm giving you this in a live extemporaneous way. This is just me fucking around. You know, this is not going to be the ultimate sort of design of all this. It's going to be obviously better thought out. I'll even search for my own stuff, right? Like, I, mean, I can include any of these people's stuff while I'm teaching my audience, right? So here's me, Shopify for affiliates. This was a very specific type of Shopify um, strategy that I'm sharing here. And again, in the, in the URL, I mean, this has also gotten a couple thousand, 3,333 views. Here's a link that makes me a commission, you know, every month. And I'm going to just go back and do the same thing, right? So here I'm going to embed... course now my computer's gonna not want to play nicely my laptop oh boy cancel that we're just gonna paste this in here so that should be the video I think right isn't that what I just did I think it was all right let's see why that didn't work Oh, there it is. Okay, so it did work. And let's go go back to Podia. You can see that. Let's go to Shopify. Now it's the same thing again. There's that video. Actually, what I want to do in this channel, though, yeah, that should be pinned. Right, exactly. So it is pinned. So when people come to this channel through this sidebar, it's the same thing, right? They're getting this pinned affiliate offer at the top. And the real interesting thing about this, by the way, for me, is I was looking at using this as a way of augmenting our existing content courses, products, programs, et cetera, with these conversational uh, elements of so bringing community to our courses. I mean, it's very difficult to engage. I'll show you an example real quick. All right, so here are courses that I have for sale. And I was looking at using initially uh, the circle platform to add conversational interactivity to all these courses for folks who are taking these courses, right? But I wanna show you, like it's very difficult even when I have people who enjoy my content or our content, right? 
it's very difficult to get people to interact with a content because this because something like Podia, which I love, is just not really set up. Even their membership, you see, no one comments on it, so people will like things. You know, as you can see, but they won't generally interact with the content, right? Because it's not really set up to be interactive, right? If I go here, you know, I mean, there may be a, um, you know, a comment section underneath this post, which there is, but it doesn't, it's that, there's no user profiles, there's no personalization, there's no ownership other than, you know, somebody is just leaving a comment, right? So watch, right? So in here, if you want to leave a comment, you have to log in, subscribe, and then really all you can say is like, hey, Ian, I like this, didn't like it, or can you help me with X, Y, or Z? Whereas here, I mean, you can really say anything you want as a, you as not me as the administrator, but as a user, right? So you could say, hey, Ian, I'm a Shopify fan, but have been, Thinking about switching to Z. Do you know anything about Z? If so, please let me know. All right. So, I mean, again, this is just me responding to me, but you can imagine there's a much more robust user experience in this regard than there would be leaving a comment on something like a course community, like the one I just showed you on Podium, right? So in this case, someone could be looking at the profile of the person. In this case, this is me, right? But that person would have links to their, you know, email and, and, and their website and Twitter and Facebook and all those good things. You know, so there's just a lot more excitement that is built into the idea of engaging uh, both the audience itself, both, you know, it's, it's a two-way channel rather than a, one way sort of fire hose of information that I'm foisting into the faces of my students or audience or community. This is truly a, there's reciprocity in terms of the communication, in terms of the content, et cetera, et cetera. You're about to hear some dogs barking. So I'm going to stop this before that happens. I'll have another video up in a few minutes.